Man, this project is exhausting. Woo. My name's Brian and welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today, we're back on the 79 Dent Side Crew Cab. We're just gonna be doing miscellaneous stuff, trying to get ready to get running and driving again. So let's get after it. If you're new to the channel, let me introduce you to the project we're working on. Well, better yet, I'll just show you. I'm gonna take this F450 frame, and this body, and this 12 valve Cummins, and this manual six speed transmission to make the ultimate Ford dent side Cummins truck. First project of the day, we're gonna get this drive line cleaned up and get it back in the truck. We checked it out, the U joints look good. It should fit, should bolt right in. Let's get it cleaned up and painted and see if it fits. I'm gonna tape up this U-joint here just so the end caps don't fall off because that would suck. While the paint's drying, we're gonna throw in this cross member. I painted it the other day. It should be good to go. We're gonna throw it in, see how it fits. Don't scratch it. Just throw it on the ground. So the cross member goes right here. Before I put the cross member in, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this front drive line out. It's a little bit easier to access right now. So we'll pull it out, we'll paint it, and we'll get it thrown back in. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Pop. Let's go check this paint. Do a little more paint on this. Am I strong enough? Backwards for one. I'm assuming it goes to those three right there. Boom, boom, boom. And I got to find the bolts. So I'm missing a few bolts for the cross member. This bag of bolts actually came with the F450. This pile of bolts is from the Cummins. So I'm just trying to find some metric bolts that'll work for this cross member. Get a bolt in and be done with it. I got everything except for one nut. I just need to come up with one nut and uh, this will be good to go. The next thing on the agenda to get done is we need to tighten up these motor mounts. We never actually tighten them up when we put the motor in because I wasn't sure where the motor was going to sit. Now I'm pretty confident where it's going to sit so we'll snug them down and should be good to go. Get my gun in there. Remember that this was not the easiest. Did you look at that? Can I get my gun on this one? Looks like it. One that I can't see. Can barely feel. Oh, and it's at a horrible angle. I got a plan. It's not a good one, but I got one. I got a plan. I got a good plan. That was tight. Yay. This is the original exhaust off of the Dodge, the first gen. So we're gonna slide it under here, see if it fits, see how it goes. Well, we're gonna see, oh, it doesn't fit it's kind of thing right now, I'm sure. Now that I'm under here, I can see that it's not gonna fit like it is. So I'm gonna split it. I had this split before. So I'm just gonna split it right here and it'll just be a lot easier to work with. Split, two 
We've got the rear painted. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the front. This project's getting close to running, but it's just all the little stuff that's kind of holding us up. The exhaust, hooking up the brakes, hooking up the clutch, hooking up the steering. You guys know how it goes. It kind of takes forever. It's all the little stuff. Let me know what projects you're working on. Let me know how long it's taking you. Comment. Getting ready to put this uh, rear drive line in and trying to... I'm trying to put Loctite on the bolts, but it's all dried up in there and it's... Not coming out, so I'm fighting it. If I didn't live 20 miles away from the nearest Loctite, I would probably just buy a new tube, but this is my life. Love it or leave it. I'm not really scratching it now. Jump up in there and see if that transmission feels like it's in neutral. I might have got it. It's in. That's a fight, but it's in. All right, drive line's done. It's good to go. I think what I need to do on this exhaust is cut it so I can twist it and then re-weld it. What my plan here to do is to cut this so I can pivot it and kind of get it in the correct spot and then I'll re-weld it and hopefully it'll fit down past that starter and everything else. It just needs a little bit different twist in it. I'm trying to get it straight so when I go to weld it it'll be a straight pivot and a straight weld. <laughs> I got the downpipe cut off, and so I'm gonna attach it to the turbo, and then I'm gonna hopefully see if the rest of it'll fit, get it adjusted, get it welded, and see if it'll work. As you can see, we removed the fender just so we had a little bit more room for access. It just makes it a whole lot easier. Only had like three or four bolts holding the fender on, so out it goes. Setting up the welder, get ready to weld this. Gonna tack it and just make sure it fits good and that I can get some kind of pipe on it going that way and then we'll fully weld it. Looks pretty good, it's tucked inside the frame there pretty deep. That's about as much clearance as we're gonna get between the floor and the starter and everything else. So I think it uh, looks good down here. I'll double check it on top, but I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. It's gonna have to twist. I may cut it up a little bit further up here so I can get more of a straight shot coming back, but it's kind of good because it comes around the shackle. So if we can get it straightened out and go back, we'll have it. All right, got it all painted. I gotta put a new U-joint in it before I can install it. I'll have to get the parts for that. But yeah, looks a little better. We'll throw it in. Too hot. Okay, is that cool? Let's see how it fits. That's it. That's it right there. I like how the heater hose is. That's not gonna be like that for real. We're gonna. We should just leave it there and see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna burn. <laughs> That's 
about all we're gonna get done for today. We got the drive lines painted, we got the rear one installed, we got some exhaust work done. Got a few things checked off the list. That much closer to getting it running. Thanks for watching. Don't do a thumbs up either. <laughs> Keep your hands down. I don't know what to do with my hands.